applications slash text this is its size so this appears to be 786,869 bytes how it's licensed the source RPM from which it came the build host when it was built the vendor of the package in this case it's one of the source packages from Red Hat not from a third party the signature associated with the package key ID GPG is used to sign the packages the packager URL information about the package so you can learn more about it it's a GNU program and a summary and description is mentioned so query information will return information about or metadata about packages that are specified that's the query I option which is a sub mode of the query option now to stretch this a bit supposing you wanted to enumerate the contents of this grep package RPM query list followed by the main name of the package enumerates the contents of the package grep as mentioned a package is a compressed item so it's in essence like a tarball because all of the files and or directories are rolled into one file known as an RPM but when expanded it explodes into one or more directories and one or more files for the most part all packages contain more than one file in fact a series of files because typically documentation config files binaries are included with packages they're all rolled into one big package so here's an RPM query list on grep this will enumerate all of the files included within the grep package so within grep we expect that there are three binaries egrep, fgrep, extended grep, fgrep, grep documentation and user share doc grep for the version readme so on locale information for various languages an info page so that you can use info to learn more about grep and its usage and man pages for egrep, fgrep and grep so again the binaries that are of interest are outlined first they're in bin and if we lsl bin star grep star we see the three items and if you turn on for example the inodes you see that there are three distinct inodes indicating that there are three distinct binaries instead of symlinks or hard links to the same inode so they're not the same binary in this particular case grep and egrep are similar but they're not the same in this particular case so rpm query list enumerates the contents of a package and again it's a useful option in the event that you've forgotten or would simply like to be refreshed about what's contained within a package now there's another type of query that we can perform now there are a number of binary files included on a standard Nix based system so supposing you've forgotten the name of a package to which a binary belongs for grep it's quite obvious we've already searched it we know it belongs to grep but it's now months later and you're using certain binaries and you just like to check to which package they belong because let's say you intend to upgrade the package or reinstall it because you think there's some sort of corruption and just need to know more about the package or the files membership to a package so using the query option still we can now reference a file followed by its name such as bin grep and this will cause RPM to tell us to which package the file belongs so enumerates the files package membership and this is a quite useful option that I use quite often because it's not always easy to keep track of which packages files belong to so we've forgotten that grep belongs to a package named grep so if we query file bin grep we're told that bin grep belongs to the grep package and ditto of course for egrep as well as fgrep and any other file that belongs to grep including the documentation and so on the locales files etc so query file with the F option will reveal the files membership to a particular package now supposing we want even more information such as let's say we want to see the documentation that a package contains there's an option certainly for that as well 
query docs. So if we query using the D option, the name of the package, grep, this enumerates the included documentation, which can be quite important if you just want to extract that bit of information from the package as opposed to all of the contents of the package. So it's a subset. It's like doing a grep for documentation. So now we see that all of the documentation included with the RPM with respect to grep is contained within the following files. Man pages for each of the binaries, an info page for grep, and user share doc grep and its 263 version. So you can search for documentation using the D option. So just a quick recap. I gives us metadata. L lists the contents of a package including files and or directories. F shows us to which package a particular file belongs to. And D enumerates documentation that is contained with a particular file. There's yet another option that may be of use to you. RPM, supposing you wanted to see configuration files that belong to a particular package. The C option will do that. Now, that of course will only work if a package contains configuration files. So it enumerates a package's configuration file or files if more than one. Usually packages reference one configuration file and a subdirectory .d where you may place multiple config files. So let's take a look to see if grep includes any config files. As we can see it doesn't. The exit status is okay because RPM did its job. But we know of a package that includes a config file. LFTP comes to mind. The main LFTP.conf file. So notice this query for LFTP returns that LFTP relies upon etc LFTP.conf for system-wide settings that are defi defined whenever a user by default enters LFTP. And similarly the queries would work, the other queries would work that we've performed against grep for LFTP. So here are the documents for LFTP. LFTP, get, there's even a documentation file for the config file so that you can learn more about the configuration directives and a top level container beneath user share doc. You'll find documentation for most if not all of the packages on your system beneath user share doc and the name of the package. But the D option will reveal that to you. So this time we've referenced LFTP because it actually contains a config file. And in our case, it returns that the config file is in ETC. So we've been querying packages that are installed on the system, but we should also note that you may also query packages that are not installed. Certainly, we have not installed all of the packages included with the tree that, that is on our server. So supposing you are contemplating installing additional packages, but would like to learn more about those packages prior to installation, RPM will also help you out. But whenever you query a package via its file name, whether via URI such as HTTP or the file system, you need to use the P option to indicate that you're querying the package directly, the binary directly. And then the rest is status quo. So if you want information about a package that we've yet to install, let's say Unix to DOS, which we tend to always install, then get the full name for Unix to DOS and then pass it to the query package info option. So to get that full name, let's navigate to the server and we still have this up so we can control F here and search for Unix to DOS. And if we copy the URL and paste it into our RPM search string, this will cause RPM to use HTTP as a source for referencing the binary. But notice that in this case, we specify the P option after the query option. So we enter the query mode and then the P sub mode to indicate that what we're querying is not in the database, but is actually on a file system somewhere, perhaps locally or across HTTP. So let's go ahead and query this URL. 
and it uses HTTP. If you had TCP dump running, you would see, for example, the query out to the remote system. And there is the information about Unix to DOS, its name, its version, its release, and the other fields that we've discussed. And similarly, other information may be returned about this remote package. So query package info, perhaps we'd like to query package list. Let's try to list the items that are included with Unix to DOS. This is a package that doesn't contain too many items. It includes a binary and documentation directory and a man page. So before we've installed the package, we are able to interrogate it to learn more about it. And we know that this package isn't currently installed. If we do which Unix to DOS, nothing comes up. And if we do an RPM query all grep Unix to DOS, for example, it doesn't come up. And in this case, we need to include the hyphen. And it won't come up. And no matter what we try, it will not come up because it's currently not installed. So we can query all. We can query the package by extracting its unique name, which would be Unix to DOS before all the version information. In fact, the info told us that. So if we query this locally, we'd expect to find information. Let's query info, and it's not installed. But it is across the wire on our HTTP repository. So that's a little bit about the query option. Let's move on, or mode. Let's move on to verification. So verification or verify mode. This mode verifies packages or the contents of the file system. So verifies file system contents against installed packages or package because it's done one at a time in RPM DB. And it returns when we instruct it to test for discrepancies. Let's just note that it returns a single dot per test performed if the test has passed. So returns dot per test performed if the test 